Uh, hi, this is Mr. Tarek Salman, a math teacher. Uh, in this uh, video, I will explain integration by parts for grade 12 LS and GS. Uh, but first, let me introduce my uh, YouTube channel. Uh, math Tarek Salman contain more than 130 video about uh, uh, about uh, material from grade 9 to grade 12 in French and English. Uh, integration by parts now. A formula. Uh, u and v are two continuous function, two differentiable function, and uh, u prime and v prime are continuous function of an interval i. Okay, integral u v prime dx equal to u v minus integral u prime v. Uh, now let me do the mm, proof. Proof. Uh, okay. First, we know that u v prime equal u prime v plus v prime plus u v prime. Okay, uh, take this one to the first branch. Okay, so u v prime is equal to u v prime minus u prime v. Integration both sides. Integration both sides. So you get this one, and you know that integration of uh, u v prime, uh, the antiderivative of this one is equal to u v. So u v minus integral u prime v dx. Now, if we have uh, a and b, the integration. So here we 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 will get u v between a and b to take it between a and b, and here integration from a to b u prime v. Okay, when we must think to use integration by parts? When we have polynomial times exponential function. When we have polynomial times logarithm function. Okay, times logarithm function. Uh, when we have also polynomial times trigonometric function. And uh, simply when the question asks ask us to do it. Okay p of x is a polynomial function ok uh, now this is a formula usually in this one p of x times exponential function we use we take uh, we take this one as e as u and this one x the exponential function as v prime the same uh, same thing here for polynomial time is extra trigonometric function this one is u and this one is v prime but in logarithm function it's easy to take this one u and this one the polynomial v prime because the integral of a polynomial function is more easy than the integral of a logarithm function okay this is a formula. Let me take first example polynomial times exponential function. Example, if we want to calculate the antiderivative of 2x plus 4 ex dx, stop the video to try to do it by yourself. We have to take u and v prime. I take this one as u and this one as v prime. Okay, u v prime calculate the derivative of u, u prime is equal to 2 and v, integral v is equal to the integral of this one dx uh, it's equal to ex, it's equal to ex, we don't add the constant of integration and integration by parts we don't add plus c okay, now, integral of this one u, u v prime is equal u times v u times v minus integral u prime 2 times v dx okay equal this one is finish minus 2 integral of x is equal to x plus c if we have integral from from uh, 0 to 1 for example from 0 to 1 here we don't add plus c and here we will have uh, this one to take it between 0 and 1 integral from 0 to 1 and here in this case all this one is taken between uh, 0 and 1 now to do this integration by parts we put we replace x by 1 to get 
2 plus 4 is 6 e power 1 uh, minus 2 e power 1 minus uh, f of a f of a replace x substitute x by 0 to get 4 e power 0 uh, that mean 4 okay but here we have a bracket minus 2 e 0 so it's equal to 2 okay and here we will have uh, 6 e minus 2 e uh, is equal to 4 e okay minus 2 minus 2 okay now uh, example other example polyn uh, polynomial times a trigonometric function I take this example 3x minus 2 times cosine x dx we take this one as u and this one as v prime okay u is this one the derivative of u is equal to 3 and the antiderivative of v prime cosine x is equal to antiderivative of cosine x is equal to sine x sine x we don't add plus c integral of this one is equal to u times v u times v 3x minus 2 times sine x minus integral uh, uv prime uh, u prime v i want to mean okay so 3 sine x integral of 3 sine x is equal to plus 3 integral of sine x is minus cosine x so we change the sign of this one to get cosine x plus c and if it's an integral with boundary we eliminate the c and we add the boundaries okay and now now another example a polynomial times logarithm function uh, try to do this integral before I uh, I solve it. Stop the video and try to do it. Here we have uh, in logarithm function, it's easy to take this one as u and this one as v prime. Okay, u, now we need u prime, so u prime is equal, derivative of ln x is equal 1 over x, and you need v to use it here and here. Okay, v is equal integral to x, integral of x is equal to uh, x squared over 2 okay now u times v minus uh, u prime v integral of this one is equal to u times v uh, minus integral u prime v x squared over 2 uh, times 1 over x okay dx uh, do the calculation here from 1 to e okay do the calculation here we get uh, e squared over 2 times logarithm of 1 is equal to uh, 1 logarithm of e is equal to 1 so e squared over 2 minus uh, this one when, re when we replace x by 1 here we get 0 0 times 1 over 2 so it's equal to 0 minus integral of this one simplify square of x you get here x over 2 dx I take the over 2 here 1 over 2 outside the integral okay and integral of x is equal x squared over 2 now I replace this one this one is from 1 to e okay now replace x substitute x by e so we get e squared over 2 this one minus uh, e squared over 4 and minus or oh, minus from the integral to get plus 1 over 4 e squared over 2 minus e squared over 4 is equal to e squared over 4 plus 1 over 4 okay successively integration by parts uh, if we have this one usually we have a method to uh, to do integration of parts we put here u and we put here v prime okay derivative of 2x squared plus 3x minus 1 is equal to 4x plus 3 derivative of this one is 4, derivative of 4 is equal to 0 integration of e minus x integration of e minus x is equal minus e minus x because this one is in the formula integral e uh, a uh, a x plus b dx uh, is equal uh, 1 over a e power a x plus b 
plus a constant of integration okay so this one one over a one over minus one is equal to minus e minus x okay integral of this one is minus e minus x so we eliminate the minus and this is the way okay now uh, to do this integral uh, look what we see what we do we multiply we multiply this one this one by this one and we put plus for the first arrow we multiply this one by this one and we put minus for the second arrow plus minus so the integral of this function is equal to this one times this one okay minus 4x plus 3 into e minus x plus 4 into minus e minus x plus constant of integration and by making the calculation I take the, I keep the minus 1 outside the interval and I have 2x squared I put it mm, I think here it will be plus 2x squared I have 3x plus 4x is equal to 7x plus 7x because I put the minus outside the integral okay minus 1 and the 3 is equal to 2 2 uh, plus 4 is uh, 2 plus 4 is 6 and we put the minus here so here here must be plus uh, okay uh, don't forget to check my uh, website tarikselman.blogspot.com to see a lot of uh, a lot of uh, exams and extra sheets uh, thank you to see this video